The latest news from the world of cryptocurrencies is presented by BitcoVault, producer of crypto terminals and software. Busking on Bitcoin, how Lightning Network outperforms Ethereum for tipping. The Canadian band The Carbons got a little more than just a tip during a live performance in Kelowna, British Columbia. When passerby Ben from BTC Sessions, a YouTuber and Bitcoin educator, saw that the band accepted Bitcoin, he had to send some magic internet money their way. Tommy had been into crypto since 2017, but like many people new to crypto, he thought he'd missed the boat. The price per BTC was around $2,500. He told Cointelegraph that he began research in earnest when he realized that it was basically an insurance policy for the current monetary system. At that point, it was around $8,000. It's been a wild ride since then, but I am playing the long game, smiley face. Fast forward to his live performance in Kelowna this weekend, and Tommy advertised he accepted crypto as payment. Unfortunately, his phone was out of juice at the time that Ben walked by, so the pair linked up on Instagram later on. As per the screenshots of the Instagram conversation, Tommy shared an Ethereum address T. Tommy told Cointelegraph that it was his first experience using the LN, and it took an hour of research on YouTube to decide on a wallet and then another few minutes to figure out how to use it. I hadn't heard about the Lightning Network until last week. It makes me want to trade all my Litecoin and ETH for Bitcoin. The Carbons have since received three BTC donations, adding that all the tips help, but it probably hasn't moved the needle on their Spotify revenues just yet. Bitcoin expert Ben told Cointelegraph that he's been using the Lightning Network since 2018, back when it was clunky and difficult, but it worked. LN has since become a part of his daily routine, undoubtedly, LN is well known to the Bitcoin community and has spread roots across the globe. From settling up lunch in the United Kingdom to sorting out SIM cards in Mozambique to paying for parties in Portland, United States, it's gained traction. However, awareness of the LN is weak among the crypto and broader. On a heartfelt note, and in light of the disastrous impact that the COVID-19 pandemic has had on performing arts, Tommy told Cointelegraph, it's been a tough couple years for musicians, adding that the support and community are greatly appreciated. Subscribe to our channel to keep abreast of the latest news in the world of cryptocurrencies.